Good evening. The honoree this evening from the SIU School of Dental Medicine received his degree in dental medicine in 1977. Following graduation from the School of Dental Medicine, he completed a postgrad program in pediatric dentistry at the University of Missouri and Children's Mercy Hospital in Kansas City in 1979. He successfully completed his board certification and is a diplomat of the American Board of Pediatric Dentistry. Dr. John Markarian is the founder of Associated Pediatric Dentistry, where he's maintained a private practice of pediatric dental, dental medicine in Illinois for over 30 years. John's professional life can best be summarized as a lifetime of dedication to the oral health and therefore the general health of the children in this area. John's also been affiliated with Belleville Memorial Hospital and the Cardinal Glennon Hospital in St. Louis for more than two decades. He served on the faculty of the School of Dental Medicine for over 23 years. John served as a delegate to the American Dental Association House of Delegates, and he was the Southern District Trustee to the Illinois State Dental Society as well. He served as the President of the St. Clair District Dental Society and served multiple times as the Chairman of the National Children's Dental Health Month for the St. Clair District Dental Society. John's also maintained professional memberships in the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry, the Illinois Academy of Pediatric Dentistry, the American Society of Dentistry for Children, the Illinois Society of Dentistry uh, for the Handicapped, Psi Psi Phi Dental Fraternity, and he served on the board of directors for the National Foundation for Ectodermal Dysplasias and for our own Southern Illinois University School of Dental Medicine Dean's Advisory Board. But on a personal note, while John is our honoree tonight, I thought it might be appropriate to also acknowledge his father, Mr. John Markarian, who's raised three SIU School of Dental Medicine graduates, Dr. John Markarian, class of 1977, Dr. Ron Markarian, class of 1986, and Dr. Randall Markarian, class of 19, 1992, and a grandson, Dr. Jeff Mastriani, class of 1998, all of whom are here this evening to share in this uh, celebration of John's achievements. We generally appreciate the entire Markarian family, and tonight we celebrate Dr. John Markarian for a lifetime of service to the profession of dentistry and to the School of Dental Medicine. It's with the greatest pleasure that I can introduce a colleague and friend, John Markarian. They say that age is just a number. Right now, my number is six, but it seems to increase with every decade. Every morning about 6.30, I get out of bed, feed and water the dog, and take six pills designed to keep me healthier and more youthful. <laughs> I remember when my number used to be one. I've always taken a multivitamin although it has recently changed from one a day to Centrum Silver <laughs> for active aging adults. In my 20s, I added 81 milligrams of aspirin for my heart. My 30s gave me Pepsid for reflux. A prostate pill to keep the plumbing working was added in my 40s. And outside of this honor tonight, there is no greater compliment for a man in his 50s than his urologist telling him he has the prostate of a 20-year-old. <laughs> I have, on my doctor's recommendation, added vitamin D, which we apparently don't get enough of, and a statin for borderline cholesterol. Oh, yeah. I put out a little blue pill today just in case things go really well tonight. <laughs> Today, it seems like everyone is seeking the fountain of youth. <laughs> Cosmetic surgery, Botox, teeth whitening, 50s, new 40s, and all that. 
After I take my six pills, I dress and I go to my fountain of youth, my office. I am incredibly fortunate to have chosen a career that allows me to work with children. I learn from them every day. Their creative minds keep me current and feeling young. I would like to acknowledge my mentor, the late Joe Sim, for drawing me into the perfect profession for me. Pediatric dentistry, good call, Joe. Some of you in this room just found out that I have two brothers, Dr. Ronald Markarian and Dr. Randall Markarian, and a nephew, Dr. Jeff Mastriani, who are also in the dental profession. And upon hearing that, most people say, so your father was a dentist. Actually, that's not the case. My father worked in the airline industry. As my father puts it, he was a poor ethnic kid from the wrong side of the tracks. As a youth, he would take the streetcar from Granite City to Washington University in St. Louis for his dental care. My dad must have bonded with his student dentist, or maybe it's just in our family DNA, but he wanted to become a dentist. That takes college, professional training, and money. Immigrants from Armenia, my grandparents unfortunately did not have the resources or the financial means to make his dream come true. Although I'm sure disappointed, my father was determined that his children would have that opportunity to fulfill that dream. I believe family support is critical to achievement. My father worked for McDonnell Douglas Aircraft, and my mother was a stay-at-home mom that gave us each the encouragement, guidance, and occasional kick in the butt we needed to stay on track. I personally think my brother Ron probably should have had less encouragement and more of the butt kicking, personally. <laughs> it was through their dedication and sacrifice that they were able to send us to college and on to dental school. Not bad for a poor ethnic kid. Southern Illinois University School of Dental Medicine has evolved from its inception in 1972 into one of the premier dental schools in the country. I look at the grade point averages and the dental aptitude test scores of needed for admission and I wonder if I would be selected for enrollment today. Having seen many of the graduated students become compassionate, accomplished doctors, I can only hope that I played a positive role in their development. I am proud to say that I'm a Southern Illinois University School of Dental Medicine graduate. My family feels fortunate to have been given the opportunity to reach a level of success in dentistry. We understand that along with success comes responsibility to give back. We all need to give back to our communities, our professions, and our educational institutions with our time and our financial support. I believe we should all try to make the world a little better one day at a time. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Southern Illinois University Edwardsville and the School of Dental Medicine for this much appreciated honor. Congratulations to my fellow inductees. Your accomplishments and illustrious careers are an inspiration to all. I would like to recognize my sister Cindy, who taught me early in life that learning can be fun and is a lifelong endeavor. Last, my beautiful wife of 37 years, Deborah. Debbie, thank you for helping to create this wonderful and blessed life that you and I live. Thank you very much.